Hi Capricorn, so I get back from the ski resort and guys, thank you so much for wishing me a great trip. I really did have a great trip um, and I'm back to work now. So this is going to be your, wow, the lovers popped up and eight of pentacles in reverse. Eh. So um, I'm going to do two parts um, in the video. The first part is going to be the first six months of the year and then the second part, obviously the second part of the year, you know, the last six months. So let's get started, Capricorn. Okay, for six months. Nice cards here, guys. Very nice cards. Okay, now the second part of the year. Okay, so from what I see here for now, um, the first part of the year, this will definitely be the main focus on relationships, okay? Uh, partnerships, romantic relationships, some kind of a new cycle, possible travel, okay? And also focusing on work, but I feel like relationships will be the main focus. Um, the second part of the year, this might be... Um, somewhat of juggling going on okay this could be two people in your life that you could be juggling or it could simply be work and personal life a little bit of delays maybe okay all right so let's look into your first six months okay the first card is seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is work okay this is building something new building something old you know this is focusing on work paying attention to details something like that yes three of pentacles again this could be teamwork this could be communicating with lots of people this could be compromising definitely busy busy okay with six of ones in reverse though however you may get that feeling that you're trying really hard you're working on something hard however somebody's either not recognizing your efforts or somebody just want to don't doesn't want to give you enough attention sorry so the next card is the world the world is something new okay it is a tricky card uh sometimes you know it's the end of the cycle and the beginning of a new one could be an end of a positive cycle okay but still a beginning of a new one a good one okay but it's also an end of a negative cycle it's a completion okay completion of some sort why is the world here wheel of fortune ace of wands in reverse so this is definitely you know ace of wands in reverse this is lack of passion which is ending i think there is something new coming in that's gonna spike up your interest again or your passion about something that's really really good with wheel of fortune here it's a cycle of fortunate events that's coming in something very very positive okay you're gonna definitely feel the difference when that shows up in your life and whatever you didn't have passion about before you might actually feel it again okay so that's really really good some kind of a passionate project might come through now the next card you have is two of cups two of cups is partnerships relationships something like that why is two of cups here wow guys a lot of signs have been getting the tower so if some of if some of you might be in a relationship with the uh, with an air sign sorry and uh the tower might shake things up however it's you know if you don't know anybody yet if you're not in a relationship yet uh if you're not even planning to be in one there might be somebody that comes through that will shake you up that will basically shake your world up okay and i honestly think it's very very positive um i think it's somebody new coming in uh if you are in a relationship right now there might be something new that happens something that's my mom is watching a horror movie okay and um yeah so the tower might shake things up uh, this could be you know something new coming in i don't think it's bad at all guys at least in this case the tower is definitely not a bad one this definitely will be a shake up of things something to kind of keep you going you know to wake you up a little bit or if you're not in a relationship yet there might be somebody very serious coming into your life very smart that will shake your world up okay now the last card is seven of swords in reverse this could be some kind of um, 
unfair behavior behind your back or it could be you behaving this way either coming to an end getting caught i don't know we'll see okay princess of swords and uh this empty card the empty card <laughs> this is what i this is what i call the empty card um this is basically the answer is unknown okay why this is going to be happening but with princess of swords it could be in a younger air sign in your life that might cause a little bit of trouble okay how it's going to play out though it won't tell me it's an empty card however it's also some kind of information that might be coming in that might expose somebody or you you know be careful if you're do doing something sketchy but it might expose somebody that information how you know they can tell you but it's definitely going to be something that comes to light and something that is going to help you move forward, you know, without burdening yourself with it. Okay, now the second part of the year. The first card is Knight of Wands in Reverse. Knight of Wands in Reverse is somebody being in and out of your life, but I honestly think it's you, it's your guys' energy, and this is you not really... This is you not feeling ambitious about something anymore, okay? Why is Knight of Wands here? This could also be you being too impulsive, you know, you rushing into something quickly, not really caring, and then making a mistake. Yeah, this could be a water sign, the significant uh, King of Cups here in reverse with Two of Wands. Um, again, there is some kind of a lack of ambitions when it comes to this person or a lack of ambi ambitions ambitions from this person to you okay this could be a water sign like i said or this could be somebody very important to you somebody that usually loves and cares for you but he's in reverse here okay so i'm not gonna say please expect trouble from uh, a water sign in your life you know at the second you know the second part of the year i really don't want to say that however a king of cups in reverse is not a fun king it's somebody that is emotionally unstable somebody that is a drinker somebody that can uh, really hurt you with their words okay or their emotions their unstable behavior okay and there will be something some kind of plan in regards to that um with knight of wands in reverse here it's like you're losing your focus on this person you don't really want to put all your fire and energy into this however it could also be a fire sign that's acting this way okay somebody might be a little bit unstable okay emotionally and uh, you're gonna have to choose what to do about that two of wands is a card of being at the crossroads you know deciding making plans it's usually a positive card but in this spread particularly i feel like this is these either these two people or this one person that you're gonna be like okay come on so what do i do about you you know what do i need to do to make things work basically now the second part you've got how many twos do you have here two 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 you've got uh, three twos already okay so it's like heavy on choi choices this year decisions all right two of pentacles this is um uh, juggling so what are you going to be juggling where's two of pentacles here mm -hmm. yeah juggling relationships mostly the lovers and the moon in reverse this is something maybe a little bit unstable uh, when it comes to relationships. The moon in reverse is, you know, something coming out, yes, or something not being unknown anymore, obviously, something not being hidden anymore, some kind of mystery coming out and making sense finally. But before that comes out, you're going to be juggling a lot. With the lovers here, this is some kind of a partnership, some kind of a relationship maybe, or a choice that is supposed to be made and something needs to happen in order for you to move forward with this choice. But until then, unfortunately, you will be juggling. I'm, to be quite honest, for some of you here, there might be two relationships that you will be juggling. Okay. Now, with Knight of Pentacles, which is the next card, this is, I think, is you. It's you moving slow towards your goals. You are taking a very slow, careful approach, which is always nice, okay? You could be dealing with another earth sign, though. Four of pentacles and six of swords in reverse. Yeah, if you're dealing with another earth sign or somebody that's uh, pretty slow in their approach, 
um, this is you not really being able to move away from this situation um, six of swords upright is travel you know this could also mean some kind of um, moving away from problems into better times doing everything possible to move away from your problems in reverse this is resisting you know to move away from your problems or delay in travel so um i feel like this could have something to do with this person or if this is you this is you taking too slow of, a, of an approach possibly still holding on to old patterns holding on to old people with four of pentacles holding on to your old problems not being able to move on with them so maybe your approach i usually say you know be careful slow down but here i feel like you have to kind of rush a little bit um because you might cause a delay in some new start which is the last card in your spread guys this is ace of pentacles in reverse this is a delay on a new practical start something slow and steady something that is very uh useful you know it could be a big purchase it could be um, a financial gift that's coming in it's still coming guys but it's gonna be delayed at the end of the year why is ace of pentacles in reverse you've got two aces here that are in reverse guys three of cups in reverse and king of wands upright so with three of cups in reverse yeah, I feel like you're not going to be quite positive about the delay. You know, a Three of Cups is a very celebratory feeling when you go out with people, you, you have something to celebrate. With the delay, I feel like some other sign got exactly the same combination, which is kind of creepy because I shuffled a few times. And uh, yeah, don't remember which sign it was though. Um, but Three of Cups in reverse is not just third party, okay? I mean, for some of you, it could be with King of Wands here, maybe a fire sign or somebody very attractive that you might be getting along with, but it might turn out that they have, you know, uh, somebody else, unfortunately, and that's going to cause delay in your communication with them or in your start with them. However, if you don't know anybody like that, if, uh, you know, that person does not show up, this simply means that um, you have to kind of instead of feeling depressed about it that something's not working now there is nothing to celebrate you basically just need to take action okay this is an action card i feel like you capricorns might take things a little bit too slow um in the you know beginning not even beginning the whole year of 2018 you might be taking some things really slowly okay and king of wands is basically asking you to take charge you know to charge forward to take action to not cause any delays you know so you can turn the three of cups upright right to have something to celebrate now i'm gonna go into the bottom of the deck ten of wands in reverse five of cups the full three of wands four of wands okay so I feel like, you know, in regards to your home, everything is going to be stable, everything is going to be fine, there might be travel, you know, planned in, in 2018, which is going to be really positive, yeah, lots of traveling here, even with the fool, you know, it's po possibly taking some risk, some kind of, uh, you know, adventure, uh, maybe during travel or something, possibly having somebody come to see you, you know, stability in your home, that is fine, however, and you know, this is going to make you feel much better. You're going to be distracting yourself from a lot of things. It's going to make you feel less burdened. However, with five of cups here, you know, there is still a little bit of regret. There is still a little bit of, uh, you know, feeling of loss. So, you know, I hope that you're not going to feel that way. Five of cups is not that bad either. It doesn't mean that you're going to have a breakup or something and... Uh, you're gonna be depressed because of it. I don't see any like depressed cards here to be quite honest Okay, I just see you possibly feeling regretful about certain decisions and uh, the only thing I can um, advise you here in 2018 is not to take a slow approach um, to actually charge forward okay like a fire sign there's lots of fire in your reading and um, <clears throat> just go towards your goals you know that's all i can say here and you know saturn uh, might be uh, you know changing your life in different ways 
so guys i hope you enjoyed this reading and i'm sorry it's not super super positive but it, it kind of is you know in some areas it definitely is and i hope only good part of it resonates with you in 2018 i love you guys thank you and i'm gonna see you in my future partner reading thank you bye bye